He's got the big league slider. It's huge. And now their Friday night starter and their ace goes here in game two. A 45 win regular season and yet facing elimination today. Way too busy. 2-2. Two -two. Called strike three. Wow, he got the call on the inside breaking ball for the first strikeout of the game. Getting into the late innings yesterday and had to hang on for dear life. That is ball four. First walk most of the way. That one is hit toward the gap in right center field, and that's going to get down and go toward the wall. Simmons cuts it off. Carter Graham, as Barrera's into second, will stop at third. Second and third, one out. One, two. Got the call on the outside. Strike three. Here it comes. Huff hits a chopper toward the middle, and it skips on through into center field. A two-out hit for Cody Huff, and that will score two. Stanford's on the board first. It's been an extremely stressful inning. The 3-1 up the middle. Just kind of a squibber, but it rolls through. Padilla couldn't get to it. Huff's going to take third. And Drew Bowser is aboard. The inning continues. Stanford's got a chance to add to their lead. He hits that one high in the air to left. Eric Stock coming toward the line. And he will make the catch. That is out number three. And they're giving the ball to a freshman, Ty Uber, on the mound to start. They just mashed against Stanford pitching. And uh, why would you change anything? Same lineup, 79. But they're playing from behind. Stanford got two in the first. And now Ty Uber strikes out David Smith, the leadoff hitter for the Huskies. Well, a couple of them. Brett Barrera had a double to set it up, but Cody Huff knocked in two with the base hit. Stock drives that one out to right center field, and that's going to one-hop the wall. Eric Stock into second with a one-out double. There's another double and another extra base hit for UConn. For a long time, trying to get there today. Got him with the breaking ball. And coming to this game and be a stopper as well. That one up the middle. Base hit into center field. Stock is going to come around third, and he will score. So UConn answers in the bottom of the first on the board. The base hit from Ben Huber. It's 2-1. to one. Over the left field wall, and Eddie Park took it back. That's ball four. Really good overall athlete. Track star in high school. Runner breaking for third, and just barely got in. Wow. Was having a hard time throwing strikes. 2-2, two -two, and he got him with the breaking ball in the dirt. So that's a big out for Panzer and Stanford. But UConn on the board. Using gap to gaps. And he takes ball four. Super competitive. That one is a little jam shot. Out toward right center. It's going to fall. Park around to third. He got a good read off the bat. So Stanford is really set up here. The eight nine hitters on base with nobody out in the second inning. Jones drives that one out towards center field. Simmons back and he will leap and make the catch. He takes one away tagging from third Park. He'll come in to score. What a catch from T.C. Simmons. Otherwise it would have been another Brock Jones home run. Fences at Sunken Diamond, so he had to get up. Now the runner goes. Crampton and the throw is going to trickle away. Crampton will get up and head to third. So that's a steal for Adam Crampton against the guy with the great arm. Noon. 2 2, and that one kind of muscled out into shallow right center. That's a base hit. Stanford's had a few of those already in this game. Carter Graham brings in Crampton. 4 to 1 grinding out at bats in this game. That one is slashed into right field. Another hit, Brett Barrera. That's the swing that makes you a batting champ. Two for two. Two on with one out. This is the approach at the plate. Another long inning, and Montgomery to left field. Very deep and gone. Now that's big time power for the freshman. A three run homer. And Stanford's doing to Austin Peterson what UConn did to Alex Williams yesterday. Austin Peterson out of this game. He's not happy. Some of those calls at the plate rattled him a little bit. He got four outs 
in this start in the Super Regionals. Uh oh. Yeah, emotions are high. UConn wants to get to Omaha. Stanford trying to keep that from happening. At Sunken Diamond, Stanford has knocked the UConn starter out of the game. Austin Peterson, their ace. And you can see the umpire as the head coach. Jim Penders was coming out. He tossed Austin Peterson. So Peterson was coming out of the game anyway, but he officially gets ejected from the game. And he had been barking at the umpire. He wasn't happy. Penders brings him back to the mound to give him the ball, even though he'd been ejected. And he wasn't done. Got his backpack, and he is gone. That one was smoked by Bowser. My goodness. Stanford showing off the power here in the second. Off into the afternoon. Wow. 18 home runs for Bowser. 10 of them have come in his last 11 games. What a hot streak. 8 to 1. But Dave, Bowser's home runs are not normal home runs. Those balls are rocketed off of his bat. I, I wish we did have the uh, stat cast numbers <laughs> up the middle into center field. Base hit for Tommy Troy. Stanford is batted around here in the second inning. 2-2. Two -two. That one hit to left. Stock going back and he'll get there to make the catch. He actually went down to the bullpen and... and Made some practice pitches just to try to stay loose, and now he issues a four pitch walk, the absolute last thing you want to do. That one is hit pretty well for the gap, and Jones can't catch it up against the wall. And now, breaking for the plate is Simmons, and he will score. So it's eight to two. On the ground and cramped in. The Pac-12 Defensive Player of the Year at short. Makes the play for out number three. UConn gets a run back. The second half of this year, not just the end. He bunts here, and it's a pretty good bunt. The throw is late. He beats it out. And a little bobble by Chudoba. Graham, big chopper toward third. And they'll get the out at second. Back to first. Got him double play. Nicely turned all the way around by UConn. And you got me getting hungry over here. Oh, man. That one got Braden Montgomery right on the side of the knee. Two with a two-run single back in the first inning. That got Stanford on the board. He chops this one. A nice play at third by Bushling. And UConn turns another really nice double play. This guy's on. I wouldn't blame anybody for pitching him very carefully right now that one is lined over the reach of Padilla what's new Eddie Parks got another hit they're not home runs but he's been red hot in his own way two on one out oh two that one lined and Padilla can't get it now Bowser had to hold just to make sure it wasn't caught. So he goes to third and stops there. The bases are loaded for Brock Jones. Ben bases loaded one out. Jones strikes out swinging on the changeup. Big pitch there. And a one two. Graham hits a fly ball right field. Dana is there to make the catch for out number three. So Stanford threatens but Chidoba gets through it Not for him. Top of the order coming up next, and he takes ball four. So that is a leadoff base runner for UConn. That one is sky to left. Eddie Park toward the corner, onto the warning track in front of the wall, and he hangs on. Maybe the wind was pushing it. Go for two. Goes to bunt, pushes it. And it's going to be a tough play. Bruno can't quite get there. He thought he did. Great effort. But Corey Morton's the 55 meter sprint record holder in the state of Connecticut and go up and in on lefties. That's ball four. So the bunt has turned into a rally crowd coming to life 2-2. Two -two. strike three swinging. He got Donlin to chase again. And I think he might be limping a little bit coming off the mound. Ryan Bruno had to dig deep there and who's had a nice game two hits.
And he's on base for a third time. Draws the leadoff walk. Who knows? Maybe now. He takes ball four. Never had the option. That's a four pitch walk. 2 2. Got him to chase. Carter Graham strikes out swinging and wasn't real happy about it. Going real hard, but pitching effectively. That one is bounced to first. A high hop and the flip to the bag for the out. More good relief pitching for UConn. Next to my Poway High School. Wow. Even the hitter thought that was a strike. What happened to the strike zone? And like you said, he's seen a lot of hitters, including George Springer. Called strike three, even though the pitch was dropped by Cody Huff. Stanford gets the call. One two to Morton. Got him swinging. Went back with the fastball. Quinn Matthews has the good stuff so far tonight. Line drive, base hit. Rolling out toward the gap. Tommy Troy is going to test Simmons, and Simmons in a rush to pick the ball up, kind of fumble with it. I don't think he was going to get him anyway. On the ground is short. Padilla, no distraction. The runner in front of him throws out Park. Quinn does his job. Last chance for the Huskies. Top of the lineup. Take a few shots. See if you can tie this game. Ball four. That's ball four. So another walk. The 0 2. Pop up. Foul ground, first base side. Graham now back into fair territory, makes the catch, and we're going to get a game three.